Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2. Let's play Daffy Duck the Mervin Missions for the Super Nintendo brought to you by GameAnyone.com. If you saw in the last part, I just finished the uh, third level of World 1. And we're gonna go take on a boss. Yeah, you do fight Marvin Martians, of course. Okay, this one's a little tricky. You got three phases. One is a sun. Every few seconds, he actually fires his gun. After a while, it gets pretty easy to understand the pattern because he does go by a strict pattern. When he starts flashing, stop attacking. He's going to go to a second phase real soon. Is it there yet? At least the capsule itself don't hurt you. Okay, now he's going to start using hedge trimmers for some reason. Again, this pattern is quite easy. You can just stand right under him and keep shooting. Use whatever weapon you want, I don't care. Though if I were you, just save your ammo for like the next world. There we go. Third phase. This one's a gun. After a few seconds, he's gonna start firing. He's always locked in on ya. Ouch. You can use a shield to block it if you want. Are you just face to the left and get the shield ready just in case? Got him! Yeah, I better get out of here. This just in Duck Dodgers Day declared. Resort Planet, where is it? I told you to blow up that Death Star. 20,000 Martians under the sea. This is World 2. Apparently this one's a water theme. I was number one for water levels. Planet, Aquarium 4. Type, Marine. Size, so-so. Atmosphere, Monkey. Chance of rain. Top secret. One, Marvin has built undersea lab. Two, plans to create huge instant Martian army. Three, leave Robert Ducky at home this time. Orders. Okay, I want to get some more fuel, of course. I'll get a new nutty attack. I haven't used one yet, but I didn't have to. I'll get this new gun, Anti-Matter. Uh, extra lives I'm not going to get, because they're plentiful. Oh yeah, let's go. Gotta be extra careful here. There's plenty of mines around here. Which, of course, well, they blow up as mines do. But the good news is, whenever you're shooting and jumping, you actually get a lot higher when you're underwater, of course, because of the buoyancy. So use that if you want to boost. Like that, see? Okay, no more mines. We're going to get to the second part, where Marvin's going to fly around and shoot Martians at you. And they're going to be flying on jetpacks. But you can dispatch them in one hit, which is nice. And some of them drop fuel. Down here. Ow. Oh, there was nothing here all all along. You would think some kind of narrow crevice would actually have something special. Okay, here's a mini boss over here, like a two-headed hydra or sea serpent, really. Like every time you shoot it, that's when it starts firing its breath. One blows you to the other side, and another one shoots fire. You gotta decide when's the right time to shoot. Like, you don't want to shoot the fire guy when you're actually in a position to get hit. Ow. Sometimes it'll alternate heads. Not this time, it's on the left side and fire all the time. Just keep up the onslaught. Got him! There. Now I can begin this world stage two. Okay, the enemies here are pretty tough because it's aquatic enemies and they suck. This one looks like a giant boot. You come across underwater Martians too. With their Spartan helmets and harpoon guns. 
Of course, the Martians drop the most money out of pretty much all these enemies. Okay, nothing here. Let's go on this too. Ow. Yeah, and that's what I hate too. The enemies are just come towards you and you get no preparation for it. It's gonna happen a lot. Ow. I call these guys like Scarfy Fish because they remind you of Scarfy from Kirby's Dream Land. Actually, I don't think you have to fight him. I'll go over here to get some more health and ammo for the freeze gun. And contrary to what I said there, if you die, the enemies do come back. I always thought they didn't. Maybe I was thinking of some other game. There we go. Okay, the bomb gun really does a favor here. There we go. It's over this way. Ow. I had no way to prepare for that. Sometimes this game will screw you over. You just gotta make sure you know where everything is. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Ah, I meant to use a shield. I hit the wrong button. Oh, three-way ammo. Ah, didn't even need to use the platform. Ow, should've ducked. Mm. Okay, looks like some of that jellyfish-like enemy. I mean, some of that stuff looks really weird. Fish that looks like a boot. Okay, where am I? Okay, big open space around this part. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, a submarine. I hate those. There. Now I don't have to worry about fighting it. There we go. I'm low on health. I end up losing my first life here. Gotta tread with caution. Another checkpoint! Yay! Shit! That shield is useless on. I am left dead. That's okay. It's just one life. I got plenty. Lots of continue gems too. Okay, I don't want to fight you. Okay, I believe this is the right way. Now. Okay, what's this? Huh, hey boss, I'm not very fast. I'm gonna use this gun, because it's pretty powerful. There we go! Just survived. Unfortunately, I had to use all my ammo for it. But it did its purpose. To save my life. Shit. There. I'll get that money back. Put it on here. Got the shield ready, of course. Shit. Like, you have to get your shield ready in advance. Watch out for those bubbles, they do hurt. Ow. And well, if you get hit, just just try to power through it. You're invincible for a few seconds. Of course, you didn't need me to tell you that. Some rare amoebas over here. Some electricity. And hopefully I can find a place for some more health. Running low. Oh good, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, great start there. Ow. What? Alright. I was wondering what hit me, now I know. There, I use the bomb gun over here. Ow. 
no way I could have saw that coming. And you know it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this vent to go away. Oh, good, more health. And I lost a bit of it right away. Okay, just stick around over here. There. Can I go this way? Sure. That was a little close for comfort, I'm not gonna lie. electricity gun in the sky, because I can. I think the uh, bomb gun works best on these enemies. And a couple more shots to these uh, small amoebas. Seems I'm missing them. Too close. Oh, good, more antimatter. Right, I gotta get up there. Alright, I got a jetpack too, but I just wanted to save on the fuel. Is that really a crime? No. Oh, good, more health. Oh great, I'm at this part pretty much. I gotta take out these things that are popping up and getting in my way. Because they will hurt you. There we go. They can jump up if you want to trigger them faster. That's entirely up to you. Okay, second boss. Okay, now you got two things flying around. The top is Marvin Martian, that's what you want to hit. And the bottom one is basically a little seed thing that spawns like a whole lot of Martians at you. It's going to release one every once in a while, and if you hit it, it's going to release three. You do not want that. Shit. Hey, well, those things dropped health, that would be perfect. Some of them drop fuel, which is nice. But I'm not using the jetpack here, so it doesn't really matter. But you can use the jetpack if you want, it's just to stay up to his level and fire forward. It helps. And having some merchants that drop fuel every once in a while, that helps as well. When I played this as a kid, I kept thinking you, that you can actually destroy that bubble. And the thing broke, and now there's a whole lot of Martians. Duck drowns Martian plan. That's good. Martians flood water world. Not good. Duck dodgers on ice. Alright, we're at the ice planet now. I have a love-hate relationship with this world. Trust me on this one. Planet, Zeus 3. Type, ice rings. Size, really huge. Atmosphere, chillin'. <laughs> Top secret mission. Number 1, Dr. IQ High, kidnapped by Marvin. 2, brain being sucked dry of intelligence. Number 3, certainly you can relate. Fuck you, headquarters. I don't need any more fuel. It's more bomb gun ammo. He's gonna anti-matter. Bomb gun. And, you know, I think that's it. I don't need another nutty attack. Once we start part three, then we're gonna start world three. See ya, everyone.